counseling micro skills, listening and attending actively, minimal encouragers, and silence with Gina Co and Sandra Collins. Sandra, I'm so pleased that we're meeting again today. So in terms of um, topics, what would you like to start with? Questioning. I think I'd like to talk about um, my struggle, my struggle around how to be a good ally. Engaging through body language and the kinds of things that I am working on and um, yeah, just trying to navigate my white privilege, my consciousness of white fragility and um, yeah, some of those sorts of things with the people around me. Mm. offering minimal encouragers i'm putting a lot of energy into this because i'm writing this new book with melissa j and i'm really excited about where we're going with that and i'm also you know i've recently left the university and so i've been processing some of my lived experiences there silence and i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to put together in my own mind, engaging through body language. Um, I sort of have this dichotomy going on. Like I'm, I, on the, on the one hand, I'm really, um, silence. I'm, I'm amazed and awed at the patience and kindness of, um, the racialized friends and colleagues that I have. And so I'm, so part of me is like, you know, I have these thoughts like, why do these people even want to be around me as a white person when I am so engrossed in the literature around racism and the kinds of experiences that people have had? So there's that one sort of emotional piece there. And then the other piece is the how do I silence? How do I be my best ally in this part of my life where I'm kind of in semi retirement, still writing? Um, trying to put forward my my best work um, around multicultural counseling and and um, you know how do I do that engaging through body language in a way that's inviting to other white people and doesn't mm -hmm. sort of trigger the defensiveness and the push rack around um, embracing our role in colonialism and our embracing our role in in racism and um when i use the word embracing i'm just thinking of like um ownership like taking ownership for how we have been um privileged mm -hmm. offering minimal encouragers and how we have benefited through um racism and colonialism and um heterosexism and all of these sexism all of these kind of isms out there um you know, some of which, some of which I'm positioned in a more marginalized position and some of which I'm very conscious of my privilege in. So, yeah, so those are the kinds of things that I'm, that I'm thinking about and want to kind of um, process a little bit. I see. Offering minimal encouragers. 